Princess is wearing diesel. That's a diesel skirt. Good. And uh, who are those boots by? Uh, Demo Goggin. Demo. Dem no, Demo Heel. Goggin? Yeah. But Demi boot Gorgon. boots are by Demo Goggin. Yeah. And actually, those are the tops are uh, Walmart. Look at that. See, some of that stuff at Walmart is really not bad. That yeah, looks. Walmart yeah, that looks pretty good. Good boy. Oh, see you. Yeah, those demagoguing boots. They look real sweet. See, let's see, he's doing pretty good. He's starting to pick it up. So here, let me give it a shot now. It's, it's fun once they start, like, listening to you. And bird dogs are sometimes difficult to deal with. They are. They got this drive and they're real fast moving. So you gotta, you gotta really, really get on the dog. Here, let me give it a shot. Uh, Lutzi's doing a real textbook uh, heel for me. One thing that really helped, well, we, we did use a slip chain with him. And then we went right to a, um, a leather collar. <clears throat> but um, the one thing that's been real positive um, is the healing stick. Now the healing stick, you carry it like an umbrella. It's a bouncy stick. It's not supposed to hurt the dog. It's just supposed to annoy them, see? And uh, like with Lutzi, you know, if you just use the weight of the healing stick, and that's in general, use the weight of the healing stick coming down, see? He doesn't, he doesn't mind, it's no big deal. Just, just remember if you're using higher pressure, really monitor what you're doing and why you're doing it. Don't use anything like this on a... God, I don't know. A puppy. This is a, like a this is a puppy. He's nine months old or something, and he set up some bad habits. If you have a puppy and you start with eight weeks and you just start pulling the puppy, every time the puppy comes out of the crate, you put it on a leash, and every time it's on a leash, it's on the left hand side, and you just start bringing it back into the heel position by saying no heel. Your puppy picks up on it. But like a dog like this, that you know hasn't. Uh, hasn't been doing it. The e-collar not so helpful. Uh, the e-collar's on him and it, it's, it's being conditioned in with all the commands, but that's not really helpful to train the dog to do anything. So something like this is very helpful because it's a, it's a visual cue and you can make like a um, physical connection with the dog so that they really understand. So he's doing, he's doing real great. But I love this breed. It's a great breed. A typical bird dog. All of the, like the English pointers, the German short hairs, all of them are sort of the same. And when they're young like this, they are, they're real lean dogs. You could see some rib on him and stuff. This dog eats as much as the Labrador. So what I want to say is if you get one of these dogs when they're young like this, don't flip out too much about it being skinny. They put weight on as they get older. If you fix the dog, it's going to get fat. That's a fact. And, um, don't overfeed them. If, if we start overfeeding this dog, the dog literally eats as much as the Labrador. It'll get diarrhea. So don't try and overfeed your dog. Dogs are like people. Some people, me and Destiny, are, are lean. So is this dog. Stop thinking that your dog's supposed to be fat. This is a, a athletic, lean dog. He looks good for his age. He will gain a little weight. as he. I heard it when Tonka was young, too. There's, that's just how they look. But the dog's doing great, and so is Destiny. To heal, like he he uh <clears throat> he sort of picked it up today. It's been a process of him picking it up, and um, like yesterday, I was like, oh yeah, he's getting it. So if he starts sniffing the ground, no, I correct him. Don't let your dog sniff the ground because when the dog sniffs the ground, it's tracking. And this isn't a this is a bird dog. You should be smelling the air. You know, he should have his head up, not like down on the ground. And, and, and he, your dog in general, here, up. Your dog in general shouldn't be sniffing the ground. Here, heel. No! Heel. <clears throat> so he's trying to go up here, so I know if I walk by here, no! That he might make a mistake, and that's an opportunity. Back up. No! Back up. It's an opportunity to correct him and make sure that he knows. Don't do it unless I tell you to do it. Here, no! No, back up. <clears throat> Here, heel. No, walking right by Destiny. He's not lunging. He's doing real good. 
So he's a little bit ahead, so I'm going to drop the, uh, the healing stick. No, I say no. <clears throat> Just annoy the dog with it. That's the way it's used. If I get an example here. <clears throat> An example of a dog that you might use higher pressure with a healing stick, it would probably per pertain to how much fur is on the dog's legs or uh, chest, because that's going to be an insulator. But really, like you don't really use much. You're just trying to make an annoyance to the dog. And I'm telling you, this is, do you hear that? That's my own leg. It doesn't hurt. I can feel it. <clears throat> Keep that in mind, but the, it generally, um, I'm bouncing it off the dog's chest or just bouncing it off its elbow. Here, heel. No! Heel. Right by destiny, he's behaving. <clears throat> Which he was out of control at first, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was like, kind of just like, <clears throat> really excited. No, here, heel. Let's see if he does weave. Here. Weave. Here. Weave. Here. Weave. Here. Weave. No! Here. Weave. Here. Weave. That's pretty good. Heel. No! <clears throat> Sit! 